footsteps. It just feels like we're emptying your courts in heaven. We come before you in the spirit and bow ourselves down to you. We invoke your holy presence. Thank you, Father, that we are blessed, spoiled by your presence, that we are consumed by your love, covered in your holiness, covered in your glory. Thank you, Father, that you are clothing us right now in the Spirit, clothing us in you, transforming us to be true ambassadors of our King. This night is only about you. And I ask that you will focus our eyes that you will take our eyes and our minds and our thoughts captive and our ears and our hearts and you reunite it with your Father. That you get all the honor and all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I love you, Father. absolutely adore you. You're amazing. So true, so faithful. You are truly the great I am. In the name of all names, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I actually don't want to talk tonight. God's presence is so amazing. You just feel like sitting and allowing him to talk to each of you. And it's got this feeling that he's crying out to share his secrets and his revelation and his keys of heaven with you tonight. He just wants to come and he wants to spoil you and make you feel special because you are so special to him. And while we were worshipping, I was showing my son as well the whole time. I can see the face of Jesus looking at us the whole time and smiling. And while we were worshipping at one stage, his hand reached out to each and every one of you. And I just saw him releasing and putting upon us a prayer show. I don't know what you, what you call it in English and Afrikaans, they call it a talit. And he put one upon each and every one of us here. And on it was engraved in gold. But it was just, it wasn't gold linen or anything. It was pure solid gold that he engraved it with. The thread. And it's just, it's a blessing, it's a promise to each and every individual here. What it is, I don't know. You need to go and ask him, Lord, in my talit, in my prayer show, what is the promise that you've made to me? Because I've got, I felt in my spirit, it's got something to do with your calling and with your destiny. It's a new release, and those are the keys that I want to release to you. Mm. Another thing I had an encounter the other morning, about two, three mornings ago, I can't remember. I was taking to heaven. And the next moment, I was taken to the sea of glass in crystal and walking on it with Jesus. And as I looked at the fans now, and I showed the same to me. And he showed the wheel in the wheel with all the eyes. And he said, from now on, those wheel will be upon my children above them all the time, wherever they move. The ones that are intimate with me, the ones that are in love with me, the one that walks in oneness and obedience with me. 
And as we're sitting here worship, it just reminded me as the wheels are turning. I don't know how many of you have encountered the wheels in heaven. It is amazing. There are no words to describe it. It's impossible. And he said, I must tell you, his eyes are upon you all the time. And it's now you can be taken to the sea of glass and crystal to go and do your training to go in His presence, to get encountered, to be hit by His lightning so that you can grow. It's an amazing thing that the lightning comes out of the throne, there in the distance, in the sea of glass of crystal. How you get renewed, how you literally get transformed, that you in the natural, when you come back from heaven, you feel there's something new in you. There's electricity in you. And for you now, intimacy means that you will move where the wheels move. To and fro in the spirit and on the earth. If we look at this year, I think it's probably the most amazing year ever it is. I personally have never encountered Jesus like especially in the last two months. If ever heaven is open, it is now. If ever there was an opportunity for you to enter into heavenly places and to be seated with the king, it is now. That is what you've been created for. To be seated in heavenly places. And the only one prohibiting you from entering into heavenly places is yourself. Right. Not Jesus. Right. It's yourself. Yes. I've got so much I want to share. So many encounters, so many just mm. amazing things that God does. And I don't even know where to start. And while we were worshiping, it just reminded me of so many things. When we sang that Shekinah Glory song, it took me right back to the Philippines. People, have you ever seen in the natural in front of you? We used to, I asked the worship band to sing that song always, the Philippine worship band. They were amazing anointed and when that song sang and I went down to do impartation of everything you did not even touch the people it's like two three thousand people just <laughs> all get slain in the spirit two three thousand people just get healed at once in the spirit you don't even touch them mm -hmm. when this song and just God just took me back while I was I was just crying <laughs> I shared with Sharon and all of them in the Philippines. I was now in May. I was in the Philippines. And the first night, God's power, the, the revelation of His power is just increasing day by day. And every day He blows you away. The first night I just walked onto the stage as I introduced him, we started praying, just welcoming everybody. <laughs> everybody gets slain. Wow. Nobody gets the honor, only God can get it. That's right. Amen. The next morning we had to pray for healing. And my son was there and two other uh, men that I took as part of my team. And I said, let's go down and pray for healing. And as I walked down, as each of us stood in a row, and as we touched the first person, everybody gets slain. Oh, there wow. wasn't even time to pray for healing. Oh. Mm -hmm. You just carried on then and you just walk straight through the crowd. And as far as you walk, they get slain. And they all get up healed. All get up here. Then I had an encounter. I was walking in heaven. And I walked next to the palace. I normally meet Jesus in the palace. But now, when I go outside the palace, where I walk suddenly appear outside the palace, I know He's going to let me meet somebody, some biblical figure. So I've met many. Paul and Moses and Elijah and Enoch and Abraham and, 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 and David and all of them. Yeah. And this time I walked and suddenly a guy came, comes to me and said, Hi Etienne, how are you? And I looked at him and I said, Who are you? He said, I'm John the Baptist. Oh, 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 oh. 
said, wow, and I teach him in Jesus next to him. And he said, he said, Etienne, you know I baptized with water. He said, yes. I said, but Jesus tells me to tell you, tonight you baptize all these Philippine people with his fire. Oh, I said yes and I carried on yeah. walking and we were talking then the garden was just walking and he shared some revelation he shared of things and secrets how to prepare the way for Jesus to manifest mm-hmm. and that evening I went up the stage and I said people tonight God's going to come and he's going to baptize you with fire <laughs> all slain they burst out in tongues. They lie there, they travail. Sometimes three, four, five upon each other for an hour and a half. God came Himself baptizing people in fire. Amen. So this is the season that we are moving in now. And I want to tell you, it is available. God is allowing these manifestations because it's a cry from Him to walk with you, to want you to be inside of Him, to be one with Him, and to do this thing so He wants to manifest Himself. And we can't blame nobody else for not walking in these manifestations. Because He's called us, He's called all of us, He's created all of us to walk in His fullness. Sorry. But it's it's about the measure that you have surrendered. Yeah, that's good. It's about the measure that you are in love with Him. It's all about love. Yes. And as I travel across the world, I see a lot of people that have encounters. But they're pursuing encounters. They're pursuing manifestations like mad. Yeah, come on. Come on. So they're come on, not preach pursuing it, the source and not pursuing yeah. Jesus. That's right. Come on. Because it's all about the man Jesus. Yeah, yeah. come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's it. it. That's Amen. it. I go across the world and people will come to me, Etienne, I know you see angels all the time. Yes, I do. Pray for us that we see angels. I said, have you seen Jesus? <laughs> no, we haven't. So I can't pray for you because your order is wrong. Come on. Your order is wrong. Because seeing an angel is like seeing any other man. Mm-hmm. But seeing Jesus, come on. it's impossible to describe. Come on. You've got to ask yourself tonight, what are you busy pursuing? That's right. Come We've on. become so supernatural. Yes, this is it. Come but on. we haven't become Jesus. Come no, on. Yeah, back to the basics. Come on. <laughs> Hello. That's a fact. <laughs> Listen, the supernatural yeah, realm is amazing right. and we must move. That yeah. is the natural. This is not yeah. natural. People, I can give you how many testimonies of when I was with my spiritual father, Bob Jones, we did not have meetings like this. Mm-hmm. I would walk in his house, I'll sit in the chair and we'll say, Etienne, let's talk. You sit in heaven. That's how we met. That is how we shared. That is how we prophesied. That's how Revelation is said. You enter into the rooms of council where Jesus sits at a table. You sit around the men of council, the men in white linen, the crowd of witnesses. You sit and you go and you get instruction and you phone each other a week, two weeks later and say, what have you done about the instruction we got in the room of council? Come on. That is the natural. This is not. Yeah, come on. But it's time. And this 2014, God is aligning you into your calling, into your destiny. He's preparing you for His outpouring in 2015. Listen what I'm telling you. And I know every year the prophets declare something great for the next year. I tell you now, 
2015 is going to be the start of the glory of God and the power and love of God like never before. But for those though that are aligned. Yeah, there you go. I was in, I was in, in Zimbabwe in March. March. So one morning the Lord said, Etienne, go and sit outside. I want to speak to you. So it was a hot wind still day. And I went and I sat outside on the chair. And now I'm sitting. I heard no noise, no voice, no nothing. I just said, said, Lord, thank you that I'm in your presence. Love it. And the next moment, a gush of wind came from my left hand side and blew me. My, my clothes, everything was shaking. My short hair was shaking. <laughs> Not a piece of grass, not a leaf was moving. Wow. 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 Nothing. Carried on for about two minutes, stopped, and I sat. No voice, no nothing. Suddenly from the right hand side, exactly the same happened. For about two minutes and it stopped. I looked, no voice, no nothing. Suddenly from the front it came, same happened. Then from the back it came, same happened. And then the angel appeared in the natural. I said, Lord, who's this angel? What's he doing here? Mm -hmm. He says, the angel of winds of change. Mm. I'm coming. And he's here. Thank you, Jesus. He's here. Coming to do a new thing. I'll take away all the old ways, all your old habits. I'll take it away. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to replace it with new things. I'm going to take you out of your comfort zones. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to come and do a new thing. <clears throat> but you need to be have surrendered so that the wind, the Spirit of God can blow you in whatever direction He wants to blow. You need to surrender your control, mm, yeah. your ways, your plans. Yeah. That's what you'll see in the season. Mm -hmm. God's not going to tell you in advance how you're going to get there and what you're going to do there. He'll tell you day by day. Mm -hmm. So that you cling to Him. Mm -hmm, that's right. So that you walk in His ways. Mm -hmm. He is the door and the doors open open. He'll lead you. But in something here, because the devil knows exactly how He works with you. Then I went to Brazil in May. I went to Brazil. The angel appeared there to me. From Brazil, I came to America and I ministered in Dallas. The angel appeared there to me. I went from there to the Philippines. The angel appeared there to me. Three weeks ago, I was in my house sitting. The angel appeared there to me in the natural, not in the spirit like now. In the natural. It's a time of winds of change in your life. And when God does something new, it is something that blows you away. It's way above our even our measure of thinking, our, our ability to think. It's so mm. big. Because He's the God of the impossible. And to move in it, you need to know one thing. What is the language of heaven? What is the sound of heaven? John 10, 4, When he has brought out his all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. I'm going to ask you tonight, 
do you know his voice? Mm -hmm. And so many times we're missing on God because we're just waiting for an audible voice to speak to us. And we miss out on all the different ways yeah. how he speaks. Right. Especially in these days, he mm -hmm. speaks through nature. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Amen. But do you hear him? Mm -hmm. and I told people, I think the other night, was it last night, about sometimes we miss him so much in audible voice as well. Mm -hmm. Why? Because at least 80% of the time when he speaks in an audible voice, he speaks in your own voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then you think because you're imagining thought. things yeah. Yeah. and you miss yep. out on his voice. That's, right. that's a yeah. place of discernment uh -huh. to know is it me or is it Jesus speaking yeah. to me. And the key is 1 Corinthians 2 from verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might understand the things freely given us by God. The language of heaven is a spiritual language. Mm -hmm. That's why you've been created as spirit first. Yes. That's why you've got a partner, you've got a companion, the Holy Spirit inside of you. Because everything of Jesus first get released in the spirit. And here it says it's freely given to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that we might understand the things freely given by God. God made it so much easier for us to understand his language that he gave a part of him to us that will explain to it to us, that will give us understanding, that will give us wisdom, that will give us knowledge. Yeah. Because that's why he says in Colossians 2, the fullness of the God at three and one's inside of you. The fullness of wisdom, knowledge, revelation, understanding is inside of you. Yes. If in this season, if you're going to look in the natural, you might just as well die. Mm -hmm. You're not going to make it. I tell you it's right. The devil's going to mess with you. It is spirit to spirit. And we impart this in the words, not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the spirit, interpreting spiritual through, truths to, to those who are spiritual. Mm -hmm. The heavenly language is about truth. Mm -hmm. There is no ways a demonic power, darkness, can keep and, and keep on standing. In the presence of truth. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of you have, are seeing in the spirit. But when you walk into even a church. Into a group of people. And you release truth. The demonic powers flee like mad. It's like they're destroying each other. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Human so wisdom mad, taught by the spirit. What does God do? <clears throat> The language of heaven is a language of unity. Mm -hmm. It is a language of love. Yes. And love is the key to unite yes. us with Jesus. And to unite us with heaven. Yes. He's created us to reunite heaven and earth. And that's why He gave us the Spirit so that we can have the human, the wisdom, not taught by human, but taught to it by His Spirit so that we can have the keys and the revelation to reunite everything. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God for they are folly to Him. Okay. And He's not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Mm -hmm. And there's another key for you. When you walk in the Spirit, when you understand the language of heaven, you will have discernment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And when we have discernment, not a lot of people will get hurt as currently in churches. As currently in the body of Christ. 
was we look in the natural, we listen in the natural, instead of in the spirit with your companion. The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. The language of heaven is imparted inside of you when you were created. Amen. The DNA of heaven is in your blood. The sound of heaven is in your DNA. It's in your blood. But you've got to activate it. And the only thing that stands between you and the activation of the spirit of, of of the language of heaven is that great idol in your life. Yourself. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's your greatest idol. That's your greatest hurdle. That's your greatest war in life. Fighting against your soul. Your soul that wants dominion over your spirit. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's true. Jesus died on the cross to bring unity. Mm -hmm. Jesus died on the cross for the activation (coughs) of His Spirit, of His blood, of His sound, of His voice inside of us. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 1 verse 9 and 10 Making known to us the mystery of His will according to His purpose which is set forth in Christ. The language of heaven gives you purpose. It reveals the plan of Jesus for your life. As a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in Him. Things in heaven and things on earth. It's a language of unity. Uniting all things in Him. A few weeks ago the Lord sat and spoke to me and Jesus said, Etienne, do you know one of the greatest problems that you men have? You keep on looking at each other. You keep on looking at yourselves. Mm -hmm, And you're seeking me inside of you. Get the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. And say, Father, explain to me. And he said, the word says, I'm inside of you. But you're inside of me. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is the key for the season. You need to see yourself in Him. Mm-hmm. How do you think you're going to be seated in heaven and earth like Jesus? Because you've been created to be like Jesus on earth. Mm, that's right. Jesus said, I've got one foot in heaven, one on earth. Mm-hmm. Why? Because He knew He's seated inside of Christ the Father. When you start seeing yourself inside of the Father, you will be seated in heaven and earth on the same time. Wherever the Father moves, you move. Amen. Yeah, that's Come on. Right. That's right. It's impossible mm-hmm. not to move with Him. Then we, can, then we will stop all these religious prayers about, Lord, I ask for open, open heaven now. You're inside of the King. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Lord, I ask that you come down to, in, in our presence. You're inside of Him. You're consumed by Him. You're covered by Him. We've been in this What time. do you ask for? Amen. Right on. You're praying religious, solely things. Yes. Amen. And that's what you need is that I, I think I shared last year that I encounter in heaven where He asked me to read Revelations 1. And he made me read it three times. And I was reading, he said, tell me what you've seen. And every time I said, Lord, I see you coming down from heaven and the stars in your hand and the sword coming out of your mouth and the fire out of your eyes and, and the glory. And every time he said, you have not seen and you've not read it and you've not heard it. 
Come on. And then he said, because unity means, unity in me means, when you see it, you need, you're supposed to see yourself in it. And then I said, Lord, how arrogant can I be to think of myself descending with you from heaven? And he said, go and read your word. Mm -hmm. Colossians 3 verse 4 says, you will descend from heavenly places mm -hmm. with me. Come on. Unity means when you see yourself inside of the Father, <coughs> that wherever he moves, where he ascends or descends, wherever you inside of him, unity means that we have surrendered. You see yourself inside of him all the time, consumed by his glory and his presence. All the time. And when you see yourself inside of Him all the time, I promise you, you will not sin. Mm. Mm, that's good. It is impossible to see the Father or Jesus and to sin. Yeah, that's right. And when you don't sin, darkness can't touch you. That's right. Yeah, no. When you see yourself in the Father, <laughs> in Jesus, they can't even get close to you. Yeah, amen. Right. And that is where we need to get. That is a reality. That's a possibility. That's Him and us and us in Him. Amen. That is life. That is where you walk in the fullness of God with joy, love, peace, everything. That is the mind of Christ. Not thinking in the natural. Not looking at circumstances. That's right. mm -hmm. But allowing, looking at God yes. as the God of the impossible. That's but right. seeing yourself as well as the instrument of the impossible. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. I'll give you another testimony. Sat in heaven. About a month ago. He said, Etienne, and we walk into a room, and he looked out, he was staring out of the window, and he stood and he looked and he turned around and he said, I prepare a table in front of your enemy for you. He said, yes, Lord, I know, it's Psalm 23. He said, come with me. And he took me to another room in the palace, and there was a table probably from the counter to this wall, that's probably about five meters. And on it, with food and fruit and the most delicate things, amazing foods and fruit. And he had a chair there for me, one chair. And he said, go and feast. And I sat and I started eating and I told him every bite that I took, he blessed me with something. And as I bite, he bless, I bless you with this. I bless you with that. And he laughed and he enjoyed it. He said, do you enjoy it? I said, yes, can't get enough. It's amazing. And the next one said, Etienne, look behind you. And as I turned around, I went like this. Because the darkest demonic powers were standing behind me. Mm -hmm. I said, this is the key. When I prepare a table for you in front of your enemies, mm -hmm. I want you to...